In this little video, I'll be showing you the setup of uh, key auth and C sharp using the console instead of Windows form. Now it's super easy. Um, shouldn't really take that long. You want to make sure that you have the download from github.com slash key auth and then you will want to select key auth dash C sharp dash example and then once you get to this page you want to come over to code click it come down to download as zip once you download it as zip it will look like this you just want to make sure that you open the console example and then open up the loader.sln once you get to the actual project and loads you want to make sure that you have program.cs opened and then this is what it looks like you will not have this filled out already um, but to get all this, this is the application name. Um, so, if I go up, so this is the application name, and then it's going to ask you for a secret. Your secret will be right underneath it, and then it's also going to ask you for your owner ID, which if you go to your account settings, and then your owner ID is right here. Um, now the example has everything that you need. Um, it shows you, you know, the basic setup. It gives you four different ideas for the initial login. <coughs> you know, obviously, which is the basic login, register, upgrade, and then license key only. Um, and then if you scroll down, it shows how to set the variable, um, how to get the variable from a specific user. Um, it also shows you the username, IP, hardware ID, um, and the IP and the hardware ID, I just put zeros in here because I was going to run the project afterwards, but I don't even need to. Um, but when you download it, the code will actually be there for you. Um, and then getting down here shows you the actual like when you created it um, and then it shows you the webhooks um, how the download files from the website using the bytes and then showing the variables that you have set as well as ban um, users so that's pretty much it for the setup that's all you need to do and then when you're done um, entering this you know just go ahead press F5 the run it or F6 just to build it and then it will appear in your folder. I already have mine over here. Well I had mine over here. I didn't build it. But yeah, but that's pretty much all that you have to do. It's a really easy setup. Um, and then when it comes to actually adding your code that you want to run, you just go ahead and put it down here. Um, because it will be checking the cases first and then it will go straight into the code. As you can see, that's why all the user data is showing down here. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. It was kind of in-depth, but again, with this being such a easy setup, it wasn't really much that needed to be discussed. Um, if you would like to see anything specific, any examples, tutorials, showcases, just comment down below and I will get to it when I can. Um, and as always, if you like the video, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe.